So when you begin to understand that you are a thinker who is projecting thought and that law of attraction is managing all of the thoughts that exist and is bringing back to everyone equivalence to the thoughts that they are thinking, it makes you want to begin to pay attention to your thoughts. However, paying attention to your thoughts makes you crazy because there are so many thoughts. How do you even decide what thoughts are the right thoughts? So as people upon your planet, you gather together in groups and you often come to the incorrect assumption that just because more people think this thought, it might be, or it must be the right thought. And we're wanting you to understand that the thought that is right for you may not be the thought that is right for someone else because there are factors that are only about you that are not about anybody else. You are unique creators who have come forth with unique intention from source. So the way you begin to understand and manage your thoughts is by understanding this very brief story. We're going to give you the story of your origin and we're going to bring you right up to speed with who you are right here and now. And we are going to say to you in a way that you will never forget how it is that you have come forth into this environment, how it is that you can understand the thoughts that you're thinking, how it is that you can utilize the guidance system that you were born with and how you can begin to live the life, not only the life that you intended when you came, but the life that you have added to in terms of intentionality every day since you've been here. So do you accept that you are more than what we see here in these physical bodies, beautiful bodies? And do you understand that you will be again something other? In other words, when croaking happens, we love that disrespectful word. <laughs> you don't cease to be. You are an eternal being who is expanding and becoming as a result of all that you have lived. So as you have your death experience, you reemerge into the energy that has been culminating from the origin of that which you are. And unlike the individual clumps that you see here in this room that you call me, you, me, you, me, others, the source within you is not defined by clumps. You don't have souls that have been assigned to you. There's a stream of consciousness that is the headwaters, so to speak, of all that is. But that does not mean that when you reemerge into the non-physical, that you become a very small water in a very big sea. You will always understand your specific identity in the whole that we are calling all that is, or that some call God. So, you existed before this physical body as this source energy, this source energy that understands well-being, this source energy that has eagerness about life and understanding about the eternalness of that which is life. And a part of that consciousness is now expressed forward into this physical body, just like you planned. You said, I want to go forth into this magnificent leading edge physical format where there is variety and stability. And I know that the variety or contrast will inspire me in my unique creative genius perspective to give birth to yet another desire and another and another. And you understood from your non-physical perspective that when the desire emanates from you, someone's rude to you, you want them to be nicer. You're rude to someone, you want to be nicer. You don't have enough of something, you want more. You're sick, you want to be well. You don't have enough money, you want more money. And of course, these are bulky general statements that we are making, but every nuance of your life causes you to expand into yet still more. And in the moment, even if you are not consciously aware that you are asking, in the moment that you live anything that feels the slightest bit less than, you ask for the more than. In other words, the contrast of this time-space reality causes you in a very specific way to constantly give birth to new, 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 new desires, just like you promised you would do. And the source within you rides that rocket of your new preference and joyously feels the expansion that you've provided through your willingness to sift through life experience and becomes the vibrational equivalent of your new idea. And now, this is the part that we want you to hear and remember. You have become more because of that.
But in most cases, in your physical body, in your physical personality, in your physical mood and attitude and projection of thought and conversation and behavior, most of you are not anywhere near that expanded part of you. Because most of you are over here still explaining to someone why you deserve that. I should have that, but I don't. I've got it coming, but it's not coming. And then over time, you conjure the most incredible, ridiculous stories of why you don't have it. I wasn't born under the right star. I wasn't born in the right place. I wasn't born at the right time. Somebody else isn't rooting for me. God is mad at me. I must have been bad in a past life. It's his fault. It's her fault. There are all kinds of things that you conjure in the name of religion, in the name of trying to understand, in the name of philosophy. But in every case, what you're really doing is holding yourself vibrationally with your justification and your rationalization and your excuses about why it isn't better. Of your, as you continue to tell the what is story, what is story, this is how it is, this is how it is, this is how it is. I don't like how it is, I don't like how it is, I don't like how it is. I'm going to join a group of others who also don't like how it is, don't like how it is, don't like how it is. And we have lots of specific groups of specific things that we don't like how it is. And I belong to many of them. And now we have the online chat groups of I don't like how it is, I don't like how it is, I don't like how it is. And what we're wanting to, to understand is that as you live life, you gave birth to the new idea, to the expansion, to the new becoming, just like you knew you would. And the larger part of you went over there and became it. And when you don't go, you don't feel good. But we want to say something to you lovingly. You can't not go. You can't not go. When you crawl, go, you'll go. You'll close that gap. We just want you to close the gap in a pre-croaking environment. <laughs> we want you to close the gap because you want to close the gap. We want you to close the gap because you can't stand to have the gap. We want you to close the gap because it is right. It is natural that you be all that your life has caused you to become. We don't think you should have to croak to catch up with you. Mm -hmm.